Hello guys, so today we're going to be talking about powers in math. So it doesn't mean anything cartoony, okay? So, powers in math is like, basically looks like this. I know, this, these numbers seem confusing to you, right? Well, don't worry, you'll learn in today's video. So, what are powers? Powers are pretty much like repeated multiplication. I know, you might have heard about rep repeated, repeated addition and repeated subtraction. But we never ever heard about repeated multiplication or repeated division. I mean, we can't do that in powers. So now, what are, so what is the, the way you write a power? Now, power has a base and an exponent. So, the base is the number you're multiplying it or you're repeatedly multiplying. And, and the base goes at the bottom and it's a big one. It looks big. Big as a whole number. And the exponent is the number of how many times you're multiplying. But let's say 5 power 4. I mean, for real, I just say that for short. But for real, the proper way of saying it is 5 to the 4th power. That's the, that's the real way of saying it. Anyway, so the base is this number. The base. And this is the exponent. Oopsie. Exponent. Okay, yeah. So the top tiny number is the exponent, and the base is the, you know, the big whole number like number. So the base is the number that you're multiplying off. off. And the exponent is how many times you're multiplying. And since the exponent here is 4, you multiply 5 4 times. So it looks like this. And for real, exponents is just a shortcut to repeated multiplication or repeated division. So this, so this is equal to 5 power 4. Exercise! write 6 power 5. I'll give you 10 seconds to do this. Or you may pause the video if it's too late. Okay, so, so 6 power 5. So, the 6 is the base, so we're multiplying 6 of 5 times, since the 5 is the exponent. So, oopsie, <laughs> 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 and we're multiplying this 5 times because the exponent is 5 and we're multiplying 6 5 times because the base is 6 so now those are like the ways of writing exponents but, but what about solving exponents okay so you know what square right if you don't then then i'll tell you now so square numbers are like basically like a number with a power of two, like to the second power. So let's say six to the second power. Like, you know, this means second. This means six times six equals to 36. So for real, what I learned, I know like one square to 15 square. You know, I mean, that's what I'm most fond of. So let's say 15 square equal to 15 times 15 equal to 225. So yeah, so those are square numbers. Now, you also practice the square numbers till 15, but no need. Anyway, so now let's talk about like cubes. Now cubes is like something to the power, to the third power, to the third power. So a cube looks something like this, seven. The power must equal to three. Power must be three. Just like if it is a square, then the power must be two. Anyway, so now seven power three, seven to the third power I mean, equal to 7 times 7 times 7 which is basically like
outside, just for, just, you know. Okay, yeah, so whatever the multiplication does. Uh -huh. Yeah, so this equals to this. You may solve this if you know the, the multiplication algorithm. So don't forget to like, you know, anyway. So anyway, now, how do we solve the expressions with the powers? Now, that is a way tougher thing. But for real, you just think it's tough. But for real, it is way easier than just solving this. Okay, guys, so we'll be talking about the simple thing. Like, like, maybe not about evaluating the powers, but instead we're just talking about what power it is. Like, let's say 7 power 6 minus 7 power 5. Now, if it was, if you put it in mi minus or addition, then it is tough. I know that seems crazy, but for real, division or multiplication is actually easier. If you have the same base or the same exponent. So now, if it is at times, and since the bases are equal, we got to add the exponents with the same base, since the bases are equal, and since this is at times. And if this is addition, then don't mistake in that. Then you got to evaluate the powers and then add them. So anyway, 7 power 6 times 7 power 5 equals to 7 power 6 plus 5 here, which equals to... 7 power 11. Okay. Well, I'm not really telling you to evaluate, but sometimes you need to, but most of the time you just got to like write the final power. Now, what if the exponents are the same, but the base is different? Like let's say 5 power 8, I mean 5 to the 8 power times 6 to the 8 power. Now, this is different, right? You can't just multiply and like, like, you know, add the 8 times 8 because the bases are different. Now, don't worry. Now, instead, the bases just get multiplied with the power. I know it looks a little bit funny, but for real, it looks like this. But instead of plus, we do multiplication the normal way. So, if the bases are the same and the I mean, if the exponents are the same, but the bases are different, then you've got to multiply the bases with the same exponent. The same exponent. Okay, so now, yeah, so this equals to, you know, 5 times 6 equals to 30, power 8. Okay, so now, yeah, so those are the, the basic power. You know, there's a lot more. Now. What about division? I told you that there was going to be a division. Well, it might be a little bit confusing. So, please watch the integers video on this card, which should come right now. So now, now let's, I'm just going to show you an example of a power with a negative power. 9 power minus 6. Now, how confusing is that? Well, don't worry. Instead, 9 power minus 6 just leads to a fraction with a numerator that is always 1, no matter what, if it's a minus. Unless, of course, you multiply it to something, if it's not 1. Anyway, so 9 power...